This is clothes on my iPhone, variety of different things here, really to give you a full picture as to all the things you might see on the agenda. Starting at the top, you can see I've got 25 things on my agenda for the day. This is my action plan for the day. Think of this as your morning routine, your daily routine. Start here. This is your agenda. Close is going to surface people you need to get back in touch with. I've got Gina at the top here. I haven't talked to her five days. Different cycles for different people. Close is bringing them forward for me automatically. It's very simple to reach out. I've got Gina here. I'm going to swipe and I can take action. I can make a phone call. I could phone her up right now, dial right through my iPhone if I wish to do so. I can swipe and reach out via email. Close will get you started with a built-in template to make it easy to reach out. You can see we include her name, hi Gina, little template there, and then your signature. In fact, Close is an email client, meaning when I send this email, I'm sending it through my real email. Just like if I was to send it through Outlook or on my iPhone or Android, no difference at all. It's sent with your real email. I want to personalize this a little bit. Once I do that, I can send it off. Along the bottom, there's several icons there. We layer on business grade functionality on top of your email. For example, you can tap on the template icon, that stacked paper icon, and select a different template. So maybe I want to pick one of the ones I've previously written, or maybe my marketing team wrote for me and pushed out through our shared library. You can also create a template from here. Maybe I wrote up a great email and I want to reuse it. It's pretty common to use the same email over and over again. Write it once and reuse it. That's why we have templates. I could tap on create or even update an existing template. I'm going to select a different template here and now you see it switched over to that other template. Makes it really, really easy. Anytime you find yourself writing the same email over and over again, save it as a template. It will save you tons of time. If I tap on the paper airplane with the clock, I can schedule this email to be sent out in the future. Maybe you're doing email late at night, or you've got clients in different time zones, and you want it to land in their inbox at the appropriate time. This can be really helpful. How about tomorrow, first thing in the morning? Now it'll go out tomorrow morning. Notice that button in the upper right corner changed to schedule. The ribbon icon, if I tap on that, I can set a reminder. It'll remind me this weekend if Gina doesn't reply. So if Gina doesn't reply to this email, I'm going to get a notification. If she does, I won't. Really, really handy. That last icon, the little bell icon in the lower right, that's email open and link click tracking. Very popular feature. As soon as Gina opens this email, I'm going to get notified. Or if she clicks on any link in here, I'm going to get notified. Everybody loves to know people are interacting with their email. Very, very popular feature. When it comes to routine, the key thing here is staying very close to your sphere of influence, your core sphere of influence. You want to be talking to them on a regular basis. The best source of leads is the referral network you build up around your sphere of influence. So it's important to stay close to them. Work down that list. Maybe I'll phone Georgina up, reach out to her. Easy to do. It makes it very easy to work through those people you need to get back in touch with. Our AI is going to surface people based on your interaction patterns. You can also fine tune it and say, I want to be in touch with my contacts every week, every three days, whatever makes sense. Because Close is connected to your calls, your texts, your emails, and your calendar, it knows exactly when you last talked. The keep in touch reminders are super accurate. They're not an arbitrary date in a calendar. It's based on your real activity. Work down the agenda. You can see I've got some meetings coming up. I can swipe and add notes or even reconfirm. If I tap on a meeting, I can see all of my activity with the attendees. It gives me one place to go for all the details. So I go into my meetings prepared. Scrolling down a little bit, you can see I've got some important dates. I've got a birthday. Same thing, I can swipe, I could reach out via phone, or I could swipe and reach out via email. Send off those birthday wishes. What's really common is to also look ahead. So tap on next seven days and look for any birthdays and other items coming up in the future and putting those cards in the mail, maybe on a Sunday evening. So they're taking care of for the week. Sale anniversary, purchase anniversary, great ways to engage with your past clients on a regular basis. Swipe, same thing, different template, reach out. Real estate review, same thing. Nice way to engage with your clients once a year. You're their trusted real estate advisor. So just like a financial advisor would sit down, you sit down with your clients, tell them what their home is worth, what's changed in their neighborhood. 
how the market is impacting the value of their home. It's likely their largest asset. So it's a good thing to do once a year, sit down, spend some time with your past clients. It's a great service and it's a great way to build long-term relationships. Got an important message here that closed flag. Let's take a look at that. For this important message, I'm gonna get a reminder at 6 p.m. tonight. You can see that on the right side of the screen. So let's take a look. So this came in around eight o'clock this morning. There it is. Please send me anything that fits the bill this evening. So she's asking for something this evening. Because she's asking for something this evening, Close caught that is now gonna remind me it's 6 p.m. tonight, my evening. Close will analyze the content of your messages to find things like this. Our AI will surface them to make sure you don't miss them. We can get really busy throughout the day. It's really easy to miss stuff. Close applies AI to catch things just like this for you. Down a little further, I've got some to-dos and next steps. You can think of next steps as repeatable checklists. You write them once and you reuse them over and over again. They're a great way to just stay on track. Make sure you're getting everything done that you need to get done. You can see here I've got a follow-up text with Francesca. I'm gonna swipe on that. Notice how the template is different than before. This is a text template. Before we were looking at email templates, we talk about templates and close. It's not just email templates. It's text templates, it's call scripts rich marketing style emails, all kinds of different templates you can use with close. Here, I've got a template for sending a text. If I tap on edit and send in the lower right, that's gonna take me over to iMessage because I'm on an iPhone. Same thing would happen on an Android phone. And then I could finish off the message there and send it off to Francesca. When you're thinking about setting up your account, you can have all kinds of different templates that you can take advantage of. I have a lead here for Ted. This one's a little different. Now I have an email template. So different templates at different times. Each step you have set up in your workflow can have a different type of template. Now these are examples of steps where you're customizing it, personalizing it before you send it off. We surface it, we put it on the agenda, and then you can send it off. You can also automate this type of follow-up with our campaign functionality. You could have that automated email go out to Ted to follow up on the lead. You have different levels of automation is one way to think about it. Automation where it goes to the agenda, you personalize and send it off yourself, or automation where it can be sent automatically. Next steps are also really helpful when you're helping somebody sell a home or buy a home. You can see schedule inspection here. An alert just went by for Gina. That's my next thing up on my agenda. You'll see those notifications as they occur. When I'm done scheduling this inspection, I can just swipe and mark it done. Close has captured a lead for me here, so you can see where it says new leads. So let's take a look at that. It's really common in real estate to receive leads via email. In fact, that's the only place we see it. We get an alert, it lands in our inbox, and the information is kind of trapped there. We have to cut and paste it to get it into our CRM. With close, you don't have to do that. We're gonna automatically capture that information, extract it out, and add it into close for you. We're gonna alert you as soon as that lead hits your inbox. Speed is everything when it comes to our leads. We alert you with a push notification right to your phone so you can take action right away. In this case, all I gotta do is tap on accept and I can quickly be on the phone. Close is gonna automatically organize this contact for me too. Mark them as a warm buyer, set the lead source, capture that name, phone number, and email address that came out of the email. So I don't have to do anything. In fact, we can even take it a step further, not only capture it, but auto accept it. So you don't even have to tap that button and even reply back to Ellen. As you think about your use of Close, it can really help make sure that you're responding to every lead and no lead slips through the cracks. We get very busy, it's easy to miss stuff in our inbox, and by the time we see it, it's too late. With close, we can pull that information right out, respond on your behalf, you never miss the lead, the campaign can start, and when they engage, it can smartly stop, and you can jump on the phone with them. It can be very, very smart, aware of your activity. Did you jump on the phone with them? Did they call you? Did they text you? Did they book a meeting in the future? and that will stop the campaign. Lots you can do with your leads to make sure that they're not only tracked, but you can quickly reply to them. Down below, I got some meetings to reconfirm here. Meetings for tomorrow. Simple swipe to do so. So I've got a meeting here with Rebecca tomorrow. I can send that off, reconfirm that meeting. We're only gonna prompt you to do that when you haven't talked to somebody in a few days. So that meeting's coming up. I haven't talked to Rebecca, so I've got the prompt there. Now down a little further, you can see Close has grabbed some new contact information for me for Sarah and Steve. 
So in both cases, I received an email with new contact information that wasn't yet in my close account. The close extracted that for me. And now, very easily, I can just swipe and accept it. Now, I left this in manual mode so you could see it. We also have a mode that just automatically accepts it. That's what I use in my real account. So I don't have to do the swiping. It just grabs the information and automatically updates the contact. Keeps your information fresh, puts it in there automatically for you. At the bottom, what you see are your finished calls and finished meetings. Close is gonna keep track of all those calls and meetings you have throughout the day. You can think of this as your end of day wrap up checklist. Just a great place to review, scan down it. Maybe you're driving when you took a call, you couldn't take notes, go back now. Really simple, add those notes right there. You can even follow up. We have a template built in for that. It's always the best practice, follow up after your call. Maybe add some notes to it. It's a simple thing to do, but a good way to just review, recap. Perhaps set up your next day, set reminders for things you might do the next day. As you think about close and the agenda, think of it as your action plan for the day. Start first thing in the morning, work through your list. Top producers always have a routine. Remember that work through it, you'll get more done in short order because it's all organized for you. Work through that list, reach out to the folks that you haven't talked to in a while. You will see things on there where you have those moments of, oh, I can't believe I forgot that. And that's the point, just to catch things you might've missed. Work down your list throughout the day. It is gonna move with you dynamically. If a meeting is coming up, so this meeting here that's coming up at five, that's gonna be the next thing on my agenda at five o'clock. That's gonna be at the top. We'll move dynamically with you throughout the day. Watch the next set of videos to get a full tour of all the different types of things you'll see there. You'll see them all broken down in a series of different videos. So I encourage you to watch those, check them out as you have time, and you can get a great feel for how you can use the agenda day in and day out with clothes.